Hello YouTube, Assassin8017, new video on how to make an encryption program. Um, this isn't very good, very basic is at the moment. Um, I am working on something better at the moment. This this one here now is just for show, I've got another one going. But, um, yeah, at the moment it's very basic, but let's just go right in and I'll show you how it works and stuff. Anyway, two buttons we're going to want. One for the encryption, one for the decryption. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Oh, um, you can ignore the whole kind of red buttons here and red and black orders. That's not something I've done in Visual Basic. That's just this Windows form I've got going now. Um, and two text boxes. One for encrypting, one for decrypting again. Make sure to make them multi-lined. quick so we know what we're pressing. Right then. Let's start putting in some code. Now I have already as I said, I'm working on another one. I've already got like every letter in, of the alphabet already kind of done, and every symbol and stuff. And I've got it all right here. I'm just going to copy and paste it for the sake of time. And I'll post in the description some sample of the sort of how how it works. But um, here we go. What you're going to want to do is just to keep it simple. You're going to want to change all the text to lower using that whole using this statement here. I'll put that in the, in the description. Then every letter of the alphabet and symbols and numbers you're going to want to change to another character. So, um, for instance, I've got A change to the euro sign, B change to the hash. But what you've got to try and avoid is conflict between what you encrypt and what you decrypt. Say I cho choose to take it so that A changes to the number six and B changes to the number six. And when I decrypt this, it's not going to know which number six was A and which number six was B. And I got around that. Because sooner or later you're going to run out of characters on your keyboard to change to. I got around that by getting a lot of um, uh, like Latin and Ara Arabic letters from this character map thing. You go into the run box and you type char map, and it will come up with this. And then you get lots of Latin, lots of like weird Arabic letters, lots of weird um, non-keyboard letters, even some strange symbols like these. And these are all things you can convert your letters to. And then once you've got the conversion done, so changing A to the Euro sign for instance, what you then do to decrypt is that you do the opposite of what you've done with in the button one sub. So you change the Euro sign to the A, change the hash to B. And you do this all the way through till you have um, a full alphabet with symbols and numbers and then you've got your encryption program in a nutshell. For the quote though, to convert the quote you can't kind of say because you need to put the quote in quotes and that's going to look weird and it's not interpreted right and you have to use this char 34 bit I'll post that in the description as well how you use it um, but yeah let's go ahead and test this out just for people's reference the sentence the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog as every letter in the alphabet and I wonder how many people now are going to sit there trying to work out does it really does it really have every letter well yeah it does and um very useful for things like this. If you're wondering why I'm typing those slides, because I'm only typing with one hand. I'm holding the mic in the other. Okay, so we've got our sentence to encrypt. Hit the encrypt button, and that is no longer recognisable. You can't get anything from that. In an email, that's just going to look silly and stupid. Over in the send, no one's going to be able to read it unless they've got the program. And once you do get a message like that, you copy and paste it from wherever you got it from into the uh, decrypt box, and your message becomes visible again. Um, 
But yeah, as I said, this will not work. If people get a hold of the program, they'll just take your message that you want it to be secret, they'll put it in the decrypt box and it's, it's away. But I'm working on a more advanced thing and hopefully it's going to take off, so I'm probably going to put that in part two. Oh, but I forgot to mention, when you're doing this, um, you want to do it like this, so in the, the, encry the encryption box is text box one. So you do text box one dot text equals text one dot text dot replace with whatever you're replacing. And then for the encryption box, you do it all but for text box two. Text box two dot text equals text box two dot text dot replace, and then that should give you your encryption program. A very basic one, but it will do the job. Um, yeah, goodbye.